Making the community aware of the skills and talents of children with special needs has always been one of the advocacies of Anne-Marie Makilan. Anne-Marie is not just an advocate, but a mother to a son with special needs. Her son's condition motivated her to seek for ways to assist children, like Gabby, to be educated and taught life skills. This also prompted her to launch Pure Abilities, a pre-vocational program designed to teach students the necessary life skills to make them productive and self-sustaining in the future. And so when the opportunity to showcase the students' gifts presented itself, Anne did not think twice of taking JB and Brent to Makati to represent the skilled students of Happy Beginners School of Learning in the 36th Negros Trade Fair. I wanted to expose them to other entrepreneurs here in Pakolan. Two, we have launched Pure Abilities and we need to look for connections to partners to partner with us um, na, for them to be given job opportunities. And three, to give hopes to, to other special parents not only in Pakolan but also here in Manila. Her only prayer was for the community to see what special kids can do. But God had bigger plans. No other than P3PWD representative Rowena Guanzon endorsed the products of the students. Look, look at what our friends from Happy Beginners School of Learning, School of Learning in Bacolod City. And these are our mano, the classmates of my nephew Greg. Look at what they did to him. They hand painted this. Look. This school really uh, brings out the creative uh, spirit and um, a cheerfulness of our of our children, and we're so happy that our nephew Greg goes to school there. Former House Speaker Jose de Venecia and wife Manai Gina ordered in advance hand-painted native bags from the boys. The daily live demos of JB and Brent were such a hit that all the products on display were sold out. What do you feel, ma'am, when you heard our kids has autism? Well, excited. I remember my, ano, my apo. Uh, may pangit ko. Uh, bakit niyo po pinili na bumili or mag-purchase po ng produkto namin? Let's support so we can get just a small amount. And, you know, this is a work of art. A work of art. Actually, how is it artistic? They are. Actually, I have a kid also who is under the spectrum. And uh, if, uh, the road to acceptance is really hard. Especially, mag adjust sila sa ilang environment. So, seeing how these kids uh, cope and being able to circulate normally in a society with the different um, uh, expectations is very overwhelming because here they develop uh, certain skills and then to tell you frankly they are doing it very well. One of the advocacies we believe in and uh, what we practice is the inclusivity of everyone uh, who uh, wants to showcase their talents. I think it's something that we should integrate and practice on a regular basis because inclusivity means that no one gets left behind. Ang unang uh, daw ka 
simple na ma-achieve kini. Very much uh, proud and then uh, supportive kung ano man ang gusto niya. Uh, even though it, I, uh, myself is financially as stable, pero in try ko it nga makajoin si Brent Diri is because uh, inalan daw kung uh, may better opportunities and then uh, exposure sa iya. Good no? first time na nakapatid ko nga may ari sini nga grupo na nagatuto mangin productive ang aton nga mga children with special needs no kag nakatilaw ko sa ila produkto kanami sa ila nga produkto syempre masaya kasi uh, nakakapag participate na sila sa mga ganitong trade fair at nakikilala na rin yung mga talent nila especially sa arts na nakikita ko dito uh, may potential sila na uh, makapag-express ng kanilang ano kanilang hilig kagaya ng art at uh, mag maging source of income nila oh, this has been my dream my longest dream and I'm very uh, happy to know that the uh, local government of Makati is very supportive of this project no? So keep it up, keep it up, and I'm happy that the uh, uh, happy beginners have gone a long, long, long way. <laughs> Congratulations to uh, Mrs. Han Martinez. Even she herself talaga nag-level up. Please, what our children can do? Our children have skills even though they have disabilities. Being special is not because of their disabilities. It, oh my <laughs> it connects. Uh, it gives them hope. We give them. We enlighten them that given enough time that if we give our children patience and more love, we could be. They could earn for a living, and they could. We could unleash their potentials.